Do you have something that you feel like you want or need to manifest right now? Like right this second? Or do you need something specific to change or show up for you really quickly? Well, then you are in the right place because what I'm about to share with you in this video will completely change the way that you manifest. And this desire or experience that you want can show up within seven days or less. And to be honest, it usually happens much, much bigger than that. But the key is that you have to make sure to follow these steps exactly if you want to see these quick results. So stay with me. Hello and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Mary Kate and I'm a mindset coach, manifesting expert and founder of mkmagicmindset.com. And my whole focus is all about getting transformational results within your manifesting process. My whole channel is all about law of attraction, manifesting meditations, and more. So be sure to subscribe if you are ready to get the tools you need to get the results you want. I like to take the confusion out of manifesting. A lot of my videos here on my channel use subconscious programming techniques, as well as science and brain-based techniques. And I can pretty much guarantee that if you start to work through the videos that I have here on my channel, you will begin to start seeing results and you will experience some really powerful breakthroughs. I have a little bird friend here with me introducing themselves too. <laughs> but I know why you're here and I know you're ready to try this out for yourself. So let's just jump right into it. Sorry if that bird is really distracting in the background. I, it's nature. <laughs> And for this exercise, you'll need a paper and a pen or pencil. And before you ask, yes, you actually have to write this out. I've shared this before in other videos, but the act of physically writing something out sends some really powerful signals to your brain. So be sure to write it out. Don't take any shortcuts, really commit to doing this right. So once you have your paper and pen, let's get into the first step and feel free to pause this video and do this with me, or you can come back and rewatch it and do this later. So the first thing you're going to do is write out your desire in present tense three times, but write it as if it's already here. It's here. It worked. It's happened. Write this out in present tense. For example, if you were trying to manifest a thousand dollars, you would write something like, I have $1,000 in my bank account. You'd write that three times. Or if you were manifesting a new house, you would write something like, I live in my absolute dream home three times. Write it in present tense, feeling as if it's here right now. And the key is writing this desire or experience in present tense the way you connect with it most. You have to connect to it. Make it feel the most real for you. When you're writing this, the goal is to create a feeling and connection deep within you. Because in reality, trying to manifest without connecting any feelings will truly get you nowhere. I see this time and time and time again. The best way to think of it is when it comes to manifesting, your thoughts put out energy, but your feelings draw in the experience. So you need to be able to combine these two things in order to have what you desire. So your thoughts put out the energy, your feelings draw in the experience. So use these words that I gave you as sort of a framework or template, but ultimately you are going to have to find the words that you connect with most, but do this in present tense. That's like the one rule in this part. So you'll write this three times in present tense. And after you write it, you're going to close your eyes and sit in the feeling of it for about 30 seconds to a minute. You don't have to get too technical on time. This is just a rough guideline. And when I say sit in the feeling of it, don't get caught in the trap of trying to control or overthink the outcome of how it's going to come to you. Don't sit there imagining that this money or this thing you want is going to come through your job or from the lottery or from a certain person. You're not thinking about the how, you're just sitting in the feeling of it being here. When you're trying to come from the how and trying to do all of those things, you're trying to control the outcome and that part's not up to you. How it comes to you is not your concern. That part is not up to you. Sitting in the feeling means simply enjoying the experience of having it now, even before you see physical evidence of it. This part should feel good. It should feel relaxed. Don't worry about the how or try to force or control any sort of feeling. Relax, enjoy the ride, feel the experience. So you're going to do this exercise 
three times. Yes, the magic number is three. So you're going to write in present tense this desire that you want as being here now, followed by 30 to 60 seconds of sitting in the feeling, and you'll repeat it two more times. Write again the same sentence three times, then 30 to 60 seconds of sitting in the feeling, and then one final and last time of writing it three times, followed by sitting in the feeling. It's a cycle of three. And the reason three is important because the number three is a divine number that I use a lot when it comes to manifesting. It's extremely powerful and effective. Even in my meditations, we often repeat affirmations three times because three is a divine number symbolizing past, present, and future. And there are so many other symbols and meanings to it as well. If you want me to make a video on that, I'll go into a whole nother video on that. But for the sake of time, let's stick with this exercise. And it's also important to note that most things in life come in series of threes. You'll notice that if you start to observe. So once you've completed this series of three, three sets of writing and three sets of sitting in the feeling, here is the next step where you need to listen extremely closely. Because at this point, you've already done the quote unquote work around setting the intention and combining the thought and feeling. And remember how I said, thinking puts out the energy and feeling pulls the energy in. In this step, you have to make the shift into being and embodying the version of you that has it now. And I know, I know you've probably heard people say to act as if, but what I'm telling you to do goes way beyond that. This isn't just a fake thing that you're trying to convince yourself of. This is a commitment to stepping into a new energy of deciding, deciding to start feeling, thinking, and acting as if that thing were here now so deeply so that your subconscious mind doesn't know the difference. The difference between whether it's actually here or whether or not it's actually happened yet, you're deciding. And I could go all quantum physics on you right now. I'm no expert, but I, I find it fascinating. But I'll spare you all of the complicated details and instead share that based on quantum physics, by observing the outcome that you want, you can change actual electrons to create physical matter in response. By observing what you want, you can literally change energy. And this shifting into being doesn't mean you have to start doing anything crazy or spending a ton of money or acting in any kind of reckless way or making decisions that don't feel good or feel like they're in alignment with who you are or what you want to do. It's not acting as if. Instead, just think thoughts that support you having this thing now. Start taking small actions as if it were here now. These little steps start to build this bridge between your physical reality and the reality that you want. And there is so much power in this shift. So really pay attention to this step. So just to quickly recap what to do, how this exercise works, it's three rounds of writing in present tense, followed by sitting in the feeling, followed by shifting into a way of being until your desire shows up. And this part requires your full participation and commitment. So commit to it. You have nothing to lose. Even when it doesn't feel like it's working, even when it feels like things aren't changing, when you fully commit, what you desire has no choice but to show up for you. Commit to it. And if you want to kind of dive deeper into the concept of collapsing time and speeding up manifesting, I actually have an entire month's worth of manifesting content centered around this topic up inside of Create right now if you join as an All Access member. And when you join, you get access to 14 months of manifesting content, including manifesting workbooks, affirmations, training videos, guided meditations that aren't on YouTube, mantras, and you even get a live Q&A with me every single month. So you get to kind of ask me your questions, share your feedback, and I could help you kind of sort out things in your manifesting process. So if you want to go ahead and try that out, I'll leave a link up here and a link down below for you. And I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. And if you found this valuable, be sure to share it with any family or friends who might find value in this exercise as well. Also, be sure to connect with me over on Instagram at mkmagicmindset. I share tons of affirmations, law of attraction tips, tricks, resources, and more. And be sure to head over to my website, mkmagicmindset.com, where you can find out more about my courses, how to work with me, and so much more. And I will see you in the next one.